Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to join this little family we have going on. And if you guys are coming back, hey guys, what's up? It's so good to see you. And of course, I'm glad you're back to see another video. If you can't tell from the title for today's video, we're going to be doing a dollar store makeup video. So make sure you guys keep on watching and stay tuned. Okay, bachachos. I got me a beauty sponge from the dollar store. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Oh, it's a little hard. Dang, this thing is real hard. I haven't wet it or anything yet, but it's like, I can get a workout in just doing this. It's hard as shit. Oh boy, let me go wet this. You guys know how when you add water to a beauty sponge, it like makes it bigger? It's like the same size and it's still like really hard. And the water didn't even like soak into it. Like I put the water over it and it's like this thing is like waterproof. I don't think... It doesn't say like it's waterproof, so I don't fucking know. Hopefully this thing is not because I have to blend my foundation with this. <laughs> so for foundation, I have the LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation. And I couldn't like color match myself. I kind of just had to, because all the bottles have this around it. So I kind of just had to look at all the bottles and be like, okay, bitch, which one's your shade? There literally feels like there's no foundation in this thing. Like that's how light it is. So it's not liquidy, as you can see, it's kind of thick. But it's not too, too bad. I'm kind of scared. My face is doing so good right now. I'm so scared if I do any like certain type of shit on my face, I'm just gonna break out. I'm gonna pop this on my face. Hopefully this beauty sponge like blends it out. I think the shade it's gonna match though. Dang, this thing is rock hard. Dallas though, you need new blendables or new blenders. This is hard. Gosh dang. I feel like I'm literally, I picked up a rock and I'm using it to blend out my foundation. Not even kidding. And I'm going to try and recreate a cut crease that I did on my Instagram. Oh, y'all came out so cute, but I can't obviously can't do the shade that I want to do because that shade is not in this palette that I got from the dollar store. So we gonna make it work. How are you guys doing? I'm stuck inside. I'm going bad shit crazy. I'm on barely like day three, and I'm bored out of my freaking mind. I've eaten so many snacks. Like, bitch, what happened to your quarantine snacks? Eating out of boredom. I really hate how hard this sponge is because it's very uncomfortable. Whoever buys these sponges, I don't know how you use this. Compare this to this or like this to one of these, like look. See how it like bends and like it's soft? Look how hard, like oh, I know it's not just me because I can literally feel it on my face and on my, in like in my hand whenever I hold it and try and squeeze it. Okay, so the blendful, uh, I don't know what you call it, the blendful. This little blender didn't blend it out too bad. The foundation has like a really, really nice coverage to it. So far, not too bad. I really, really like this shade. So I did good color matching by just staring at the bottles. Like, what the fuck? Wait for concealer, I have the LA Girls Conceal It in the shade Fair. You guys know I love, love to have my concealer, a little, my concealer like really light. So I picked the lightest shade they had. Oh, I like the brush. Look at that. That is so cool. It's like a paintbrush. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's pretty light. I might got I might have got a shade a little bit too light. No, I don't think so. It kind of looks like my CoverGirl True Blend. 
And if it does end up being like too light for my face, I can just use it to cut creases on my eyes or to um, prime my, oh, I just got some more eyebrow, to prime my lids <laughs> and under my brows. Oh, she real light. And I'm just blending it out with the same blender and I'm using the pointy side. This freaking sponge, I cannot. This shit is so hard. The coverage is really pretty, like, what dark circles, bitch. The sponge stinks. Okay, so I blended out really, really nicely, as you can see. It covered like any like blemishes or anything like that. So, so far, so good. I wasn't able to find any setting powder, the freaking dolls though. So I'm about to um, set my face and do my brows and we'll be right back. Okay, bitches, I went ahead and did my brows and my powder. So I'm gonna pick up, hello, the same concealer we used to conceal our face. Just pop some of that out of back of my hand. And then I'm gonna define these brows. It was just a little bit thicker. Just so I had a more like full coverage, you know? But it's a really like lightweight concealer. So it's hella easy to blend it out. Yeah, I just found this mirror the other day in my room. Um, I forgot somebody at my last job and my hotel job gave this to me. I was like, oh, this is gonna come in handy for my videos. Like, I can be talking while I, like, do my shit. I definitely want to set the rest of my face. So, I'm gonna pick up the LA Girls Silky Smooth Pressed Powder in the shade Nude. Mind you, this thing was, like, $2.00. It has a little plastic thingy over it, and then it comes with this little thin. So I just, I guess I'm just use this. And we're just gonna pat it into the face. Oh, it's kind of white. Like really, really white. It's gonna leave me looking like a ghost. Can y'all now see that? Maybe it's just like in the, in the camera you can't, but in this mirror, you definitely can see it. I'm sir. I'm filming. Y'all don't mind the blow dryer, the cutting grass, the I don't know what the fuck they're doing. For my eyes, we're gonna pick up the Rose LA Colors palette. I really only got this because it's pink and it looks real cute. So that's the palette we're picking up today. So it looks like this, and it like on the shades itself, it tells you like highlight, crease, crease, lid, 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 like all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, it's a little quieter. So for the first shade, I'm going to dip into this guy right here. This is like a lighter brown, or looks like it. And I'm just using a Morphe brush. And I'm just going to pat this right into the crease. 
Okay, so it's not that pigmented. So I'm dipping back into it. I literally went like that with my brush and some color came out. It's like only doing the color on the outside of my eye. It won't apply any like right here. Okay, that was a big ass flop. I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. It's a little bit darker. And it has like a really pretty like maroon shade to it. Okay, this one's a little bit better, but not definitely not as like dark as I expected it to be. Okay, these shades are not it. I was so excited for this palette too. As I'm blending it out, you can see like all the pigment, all the shade, all the color just literally goes away. <sighs> Let's go ahead and cut this crease and see if I can create something else. Well, I've never cut the crease so fast in my life. Now I'm just patting the concealer in one so it's not so thick and then that second shade will sit really nicely on top of that. Okay now this shade right here it's meant to highlight but I'm gonna dip into it just so we really like I start to try and create something decent looking. I don't I really wanted this to look nice and I'm just gonna pat this on. I really just make sure it's all over the concealer so the rest of the concealer when I look up doesn't stick up here, you know what I'm saying? Okay, what do we think? Dollar store cut crease. <laughs> I think it came out really cute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. Okay, bitchachos, we got that cut crease, dollar cut crease. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna put this palette away for just right now. And now I'm gonna pick up the LA Colors Eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. This is a black, cause I like dark eyeliner. So it looks like this. Oh yes, that's a really thin brush. Yes, wing liner. Okay, bitches, we're gonna do some wing liners. It's gonna look so pretty with this cut crease. The brush is so thin, it's like kind of hard to use it because that shit is so thin and then like when I'm like trying to do the liner, it like bends. So I'm like, it's a little long and a little thick. This one came out better. Dude, I like put this this brush inside of this liner so many times. I literally like, ran out of eyeliner. How the fuck is that even possible? And there's supposed to be so much in this. Okay, now for mascara, the LA Colors Built and Extends Lash Mascara. My eyes look so cute. Like now they look on like chink eye instead of like big as fucking round. Let me find out. I could not open it. Oh, it's a thick ass brush. Hell yes. Let's see. This liner on this eye, not cute. 
Let's line it on this side. Sharp and cute. Let's see if this really extends my lashes. Cause if it does, I'm gonna keep this thing. If not, trash. Okay, it's like, yes, like making them longer, but like, I don't see any mascara being added to my lashes. It's really just separating them. Like, I honestly don't see a difference. And I was, ex I was so excited for this mascara. Okay, definitely a no for the mascara. Because where the fuck is the pigment? <laughs> like, where is my lashes? Okay, now for the bottom lash, I really want to do something dark. But every time I try and do a dark shade, it comes out looking like this up here. So I'm going to dip into this guy right here. And, like, I really got to pack this brush out. I'm not even kidding. And I want to dip into at least this one too. Just to play it on the safe side and make sure it really does give me, like, that shade that I'm looking for. I just an eyeshadow in my eye. This is definitely the color like, that I wanted. I wanted a shade darker than what I have up here. So I feel like this color up here would be so pretty. Okay, bachachos. Now it's time for some bronzer. I already know I'm not going to like this. I don't know why I bought it. I didn't even read it when I bought it. This is a bronzer from LA Colors. And I'm going to show you guys right now why I know I'm not going to like it. But if I try and avoid said area, I might like it. So. This is the bronzer. If you guys watch my channel, then you know I do not like shimmer. Shimmer is not my thing. There's a big old shimmery sun right there. And it's kind of hard to avoid. Oh, I think it goes away. Yes! It wipes away after you use it the first time. Okay, I went ahead and wiped it. Yes! Hopefully this looks good. So I can at least like one thing from this freaking dollar store. Oh, yes. Look at the freaking pigmentation of that bronzer. And like, look at the shade. Oh my god. You go dollar store. Honestly, I think I really like this bronzer. She looks a little crazy right now. I want to like clean it up, fix it, blend it out. That bitch will be looking right. Y'all, look at this fucking bronzer. A bitch look tan. Now for blush, this is the LA Colors Rad Rouge Blush. I love the freaking light pink to this shit. The color is literally the main reason why I bought it. So it's inside this little plastic container thingy. It's really cool. Like, I thought it was just like the blush inside of this like plastic thing, but no, bitch. It's protecting it. Like, how fucking cute is that? Okay, so I really got to pat into the brush. Oh, it does give you like a nice rosy pink cheek look. Oh, I think I like this. Hmm. Maybe. Okay, right now I'm cleaning up said contour in blush. I'm going to go ahead and add some highlight and some lips and we'll be right back to and re to review everything with you guys and let you know what i like and what i do not like bitches okay guys and that is the end of today's video hopefully you enjoyed my dollar store review and trying out all this crap first of all i'm gonna tell you right now the foundation is freaking awesome look how good my face looks the concealer is also another one of my favorites so i think overall everything i like the concealer the foundation and the blush and bronzer i really think that's it like everything else is a <clears throat> flop like it did not work at all so much for watching. i'll see you in the next video